Bubble Boy speaking. I am in Singapore right now, ready to show you guys around and show one of the newest happening gay scenes in all of Southeast Asia. You guys, check it out. What's up with the gay scene in Singapore? It's really becoming really, really vibrant and better by the day. Singapore is a very beautiful place. It's a city, you know, very enjoyable. It's a place which you want to come to live and a place you want to come to party as well. I am here at Gallery So Gun and Art with the owner himself, Mark Lee. Could you tell us a little bit about some of your favorite pieces here and maybe what inspired them? Sure. Um, well, this whole exhibition is themed Can You See Me? And really we wanted to show um, LGBT people in their daily ordinary lives um, and to break the stereotypes that you know gay people are all about clubs and partying and wild sex and all that. And what can you tell us about your magazine? Oh well Element Magazine is the only gay magazine in Singapore and um, it's uh, about men's fashion, about lifestyle as well as you know with articles relevant to the Asian LGBT communities. We're here in Singapore coming to you live on www.moves.com from the venue itself, the Asian Pink Awards 2014. Welcome to Singapore. Oh, and, thank you. Uh, thank you everyone for watching us live. So I, I do a LG, I run an LGBT counseling center in Singapore. It's called Wuga Chaga. Um, it is the only LGBT counseling center that provides uh, care and support for the LGBT population. Gay Star News is uh, the title that I work for and the editor of that. We have uh, readers, about 2 million readers, in about 204 countries around the world, as some of you might know. I have been working in, uh, in the world of pageantry, Miss Universe. I've worked with model all my life. And you know, Madonna once says, without the gay community, I wouldn't be anybody. And, and I think that Without the gay people, I would not have succeeded ever. So this is a give back to the community. Thank you so much. So why Tantric? Every night we are playing like hot, new or sometimes some more throwback older music videos and over weekend obviously we are going to play those like hot remixes i'm drinking obviously my our our signature drink is called tantric trip no it's yummy it's kind of tasting grapefruitish it looks like it has a few things inside what's inside you need to come here to find out why here dymk is a place called home where people gather and touch base and get to know new friends and have fun. What's DYMK? Oh, this, does your mother know? What? Yeah, does your mother know? Oh, no she doesn't. Okay, let's, let's go to does your mother know then. Hi everybody, welcome to Taboo. It's a boutique dance club, not too big, not too small, but intimate enough, but no sleaze. It's a place not to be missed, but you're going to have great fun, great music. The visitors that come to Singapore and say, oh, we must visit Taboo and we hope that keeps us going. We hope. For anybody, not just the gays, what are some tourist hits that would make for a good trip? Little India. Cultural places like Little India. And then we have Chinatown, obviously, with all the... It's actually where we're staying right now, and it's it's lovely, I like it. It's cute, and it's so close to here. Marina Bay Sand. I mean, that's the ultimate place that you want to see. The famous um, Marina Bay Sands Hotel, where they have this um, uh, rooftop um, swimming pool. Singapore may be a little dot that you can't see on the map, but when we come to Singapore 24-7, you have so much to do, so little time, so much to shop, so much to eat, so much to do, and gay boys, Singapore is a place for you to visit. You guys, Singapore, new buzzing city, a new gay scene. Make sure to check it out, guys, huh?